Hello everyone, so today is November 10th, 2014 and I got a brand new Blu-ray update for you. So I've got seven Blu-rays that I picked up over the last month and most of them I got for a pretty cheap price, so let's go. The first two are from Best Buy. I got this one for $6 at Best Buy. It is Shutter Island from 2010. This is a really great underrated Martin Scorsese movie and also Leonardo DiCaprio. It's one of their collaborations that did it, get, did not get nominated for Best Picture, but I still think this is a great film with great cinematography, great music, and it just looks great. And I love the surprise ending, even though I might have saw it come a mile away. Still love Shutter Island from 2010. On the back, there is a few special features, nothing too special, uh, but uh, I'm just really looking forward to watching this. It's been that long since I've actually seen it. And inside, there is the really pointless disc. Gosh, Paramount, can't you give us a really cool disc? Oh well. Still a great film, Shutter Island, 2010. Next one I picked up is my favorite film, the best film that I saw in 2007, and it is one of the best films from P.T. Anderson. That would be There Will Be Blood, again from 2007. I absolutely love this film. I love the way it looks. I own it on DVD, but I'm so excited to finally own it on Blu-ray. And I did see P.T. Anderson's new film. You can check out uh, that review on my channel for Inherent Vice. But this is uh, my second favorite, I think this is my second favorite P.T. Anderson film. My first is Magnolia, but I absolutely love this film so much. And I'm just looking forward to see it on the big screen once again. There on the back, there are the special features. Most of them are the same ones that are on the DVD, so there's really nothing special there. But anyways, this could be the picture quality that I really care about because the cinematography won Best Cinematography. And there is a disc. At least uh, Paramount cared about this disc. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Kind of. All right, There Will Be Blood, great film, 2007. Next one, I actually got this for $6. Next one I got for $7 at Best Buy a few weeks later, and that would be the special edition of Napoleon Dynamite from 2004. This has got the DVD and the Blu-ray. This is the 10th anniver anniversary since it is 10 years old this year. So this one picks up. Uh, it has special features from the Blu-ray and the DVD that I do own, and so I've got now two DVDs that I can just cherish and throw around and enjoy, but I'm very excited to watch this on Blu-ray. And let's open it up. This actually is a nice packaging. So let's just open this up really quick. And inside, there's the cover. There is the back. And you can open it up like this. See what's inside. And there is the, the DVD. Right there, the DVD. And, and the Blu-ray. I'm going to take that off so I can just show you quickly. Show you the Blu-ray. There is the Blu-ray of... Napoleon Dynamite, pretty cool. Don't really like this slip cover, as you can see. Don't really like it, but it'll do for now. I hate it. I hate it. But I love Napoleon Dynamite. There you go. So, there you go from Napoleon Dynamite. Awesome stuff. All right, next one is from Target. I actually got for $5. I can't believe I got it for $5. And that would be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is a Tim Burton remake of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which, is, of course, was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when it was created by Roald Dahl. But this is a 2005 film that I like a lot. But I don't love it like I love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I think that's a much better film. But this is pretty cool. The, I, what I like about this the most is the way the movie looks and the music. And some of the kids, I actually like some of the kids in the film, especially Freddie Highmore. And on the back, there are special features to the film, so I'm looking forward to watching this. Again, I bet it looks great on Blu-ray. I hope it looks great on Blu-ray. And you do get a kind of a cool disc. I don't know if you can see that, but there's Willy Wonka, or Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Hope you can see that. 2005, definitely a good film. Next one I got on Blu-ray, and I just found out uh, when I was at Target, I bought it, but then I found out now there is a... Well, there always probably was, because this is an older film, but I think this film is from 2007. It is Rambo. This is not the extended cut, which is about eight minutes longer. This is the original R-rated cut. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite Rambo movie, just because it is so violent. It's, 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 it's non-stop violence. And I'm actually looking forward to watching this again. And I know that they're going to make another Rambo movie, which I know is completely unnecessary, but I would actually welcome that, especially if it's like this movie. It just looked great, and it was just... It was a lot of violence. Just ultra-violence. Crazy violence. Insane violence. On the back, there are lots of special features, including commentary, deleted scenes, and if I find uh, the extended cut for pretty cheap, I might just buy that as well. I don't know. I do not know, but I got this for $5, so I can't complain. 
Inside you get the DVD Blu-ray and the digital copy right there. So Rambo, I believe this came out in 2007. Next one I picked up is a movie that I just saw for the first time weeks ago and I did a review for it that should be coming soon on We Live Film. It is 1992's Basic Instinct. Yes, I've never actually seen this film until now and I did a review as I said. I've seen all the important parts of the movie, important parts of the film, but now I've actually seen this movie on a whole and you have to check out my review I do on We Live Film that should be posted pretty soon. And you can find out if I enjoyed it or not. But of course I bought it, so you must imagine that I did like it. And I have to say, I did enjoy it. And check out what I thought about it in my review. And on the back, there are special features, commentary. This is really a really good Paul Verhoeven film that I'm glad I finally saw. And I'm looking forward to seeing it on Blu-ray. I did watch it on Netflix streaming and it looked great. Even though it is a 22-year-old film. Inside, there is the disc, and you can actually see Sharon Stone in there as well. I hope you can see that. So, 1992, Basic Instinct. What a surprise that was. Pretty good. All right, and the last one actually is a blind buy. I haven't blind buyed something. I don't know if that makes sense. I haven't bought, bought something that I have never seen before. And I only bought this because it was $10, and then I had a coupon at Best Buy. So I actually got this for free. It is The One I Love, which came out in 2014, and most of my friends have seen this film already, and they love it, so I'm really hoping that I love it as well, and I will definitely be doing a review on We Live Film after I watch this movie, so look forward to that. This is a film that stars Elizabeth Moss and Mark Duplass, two actors that I really love, and I'm looking forward to seeing this really, in this indie darling. A lot of people love this film, so I'm hoping, praying that I enjoyed as well. On the back there is a commentary with the cast and crew and inside there is the disc of the one I love 2014. So this is the first time in probably 14 years that I've actually bought something that I've never seen. I normally don't ever do that. I usually like to see the movie first but I couldn't pass it up. I got it for free. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. Please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com and if you've enjoyed this Blu-ray update, I hope to have more, more, more in the future coming out very, very soon once I get big buys and Black Fridays coming up. So hopefully I get a lot of Blu-rays that day. A lot of good deals. I was looking for good deals. Most of these Blu-rays are free or five or six dollars. So perfection. Perfection, my friends. Alright, everyone. Please subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And I will talk to you in my next video, movie, whatever, review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you, my friends.